Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's me again. It is lovely to see you again back in my channel. So this video is going to be about my Dame Judi Dench from David Austin. So let me read through the description from David um, Austin website about this rose. So this is a beautiful rose. The blooms are a particularly rich shade of apricot orange, paling prettily towards the edges. The striking red tipped buds gradually open to reveal large informal rosettes, each with ruffled petals and a button eye. They are very resistant to rain damage, apparently, and the petals drop neatly. There is a light medium tea scent. Uh, yes, I agree. Actually, it's I find the, the smell is stronger and a very healthy shrub. Yes, it produces strong arching stems, which over time form an attractive mound of blooms. Yes, I agree 100% from my experience. As you will see um, later on in this video, I will attach a, um, a clip actually when I have recorded, uh, I would say two years ago, how it was, but I can assure you it's still the same, okay, up to now, well, right, not right now because we are in October, but when, you know, whilst it's uh, flowering, it's always like that, it's beautiful. It also smells divine. It is very generous rose and I'm just letting it grow wild because I just want things well I just want my plants to grow wild and just let them be work they look nice as wild as they are so that's lovely look at them gorgeous aren't they so they will need to be that head soon these are the buds that are yet not buds um yeah buds aren't they about to flower so that one needs to be cut this part because as you can see that needs to be cut off so it will allow these buds that are yet to flower to get the um, maximum nutrients and food from the plant without this spent ones sharing the um, food and nutrients um, so that's what I'm looking at today. these are sage lovely aren't they so that's what they look like at the moment they're very generous I just leave them be this is quite a big um a big and um, long bush as well they look more like a, for me a climbing rose but they are not a climbing rose they are a bush but I think they are naturally um, archy so the um, the what do you call these ones not the trunks this they natural naturally bend like that one as you can see so if you're planning to have this kind of rose, be prepared to have plenty of support. A sturdy one, if possible. Unlike these ones, I use bamboos. And they're far too thin. As, as you can see, most of them have already gave in because of the weight of the rose. So make sure put uh, something that is sturdy, thick and strong so that it can support the rose properly um, and then I planted some lilies in there there that are yet to bloom these are lavenders I don't know what they are called but they are quite bushy big lavenders and these are type of heirlooms that are also yet to bloom and that one there is a Heat, heat coat, heat coat or heat coat lavender. It's an English lavender, and it smells lovely. Really, 
and there's another one in there a bigger lavender So this particular part is actually another um, type of video, another time. So I think this one I've recorded it this year. The first uh, a clip of video I have attached into this video was actually taken two years ago but this actual one that now you are seeing where I am uh, watering my roses flowering my roses <laughs> watering my roses rather um, it's actually been taken just earlier this year and I've just realized actually that I haven't taken a proper video um, where I have or I was standing next to my Dame Judy Dench rose and I scrolled through all my um, library of videos and I cannot find um, anywhere better and therefore I've decided to use these um, clips instead and you will see later on the last part actually I have already included in another video but it's as I said it's still giving you some kind of perspective perspective how the actual rose look and um, I hope you you gain a bit of information um, about this video you know from this video if you are thinking of how um, Dame Judi Dench rose look so this is how she is honestly this is my I would say my first uh, rose bush here in my garden okay so this rose is five years old so it's older than my other rose bushes, okay? So I bought it from a garden center near where we are, and I bought it in a, uh, it's a potted rose actually, rather than a bare root um, rose where mo all of my rose bushes were when I bought them. From my observation, actually, this rose, although it says it's supposed to be a rose bush, this rose is naturally archy, okay? So if, should, you decide to actually want this rose in your garden, please go ahead and have her. But be prepared to have a kind of strong uh, plant support to support her because she's, as I said, she's very, very naturally archy. And as you can see in this uh, particular video, you can actually kind of get an idea how she looks because what I've done I put some bamboos <laughs> to support her okay but unfortunately bamboos the ones that I use were quite um, like a thin one they weren't that thick at all so they snapped and they gave in so I ended up having ended up having this um, Dame Judi Dench leaning towards as you can see this way like as as if it's like um you know tipping over but if you you know don't mind her going all over the place flopping about please you can just leave her as as she is like what i have done here but actually if you want her a bit more upright as i said be prepared to have a strong uh, plant support to train her but otherwise she's one of the healthiest um rose bush um to to choose from um sorry i had a bit of a, <laughs> a high pitched voice there to choose from um david austin um uh, catalog and um if you are also an amateur gardener i would suggest along with um emily bronte rose i also have a video uploaded of how emily my emily bronte rose looked in my garden this is another good rose to have in your garden to start with i find 
choosing the, the, the most easiest rows to grow if you're an amateur gardener like myself is quite a good idea because it, it kind of it will encourage you to continue and it won't you know um, dishearten you should you know something goes wrong because you can never go wrong with this rose okay so um, I hope as, as I said I know I said it already a while ago that I have provided you an information honestly it always makes my day every time I hear a comment back from my viewer how much they have appreciated or how much how much I helped them um, give some kind of idea what a particular rose look like uh, like the ones that I have here in my garden so I hope this one will also help you as well so to finish this video up I'm going to show you my pet I actually called my pet Mr. Spider because it is a spider and we're now talking uh, back in the present month of October okay so this video was recorded in the summer but we're now in October early autumn and there is Mr. Spider so he's still surviving you can see in the background my Dame Judy Dangerous she doesn't look as happy now but you can see now how my pet Mr. Spider is looking after itself well can you see that big um, I think it was a honeybee that it caught and you can see how beautiful it created the kind of web to catch its food and you can see there I don't, I don't know if it's a female or a male but look how there's another little tiny food as well it's you know clasping and I can't get closer I'm afraid to just you know make it a bit clearer to show you but can you see and there's another bumblebee here and I can tell you he's still around okay we've been having rainy days at the moment but he's still around so isn't he gorgeous or she I don't know if it's a male or a female anyway see you again next time and have a nice day wherever you are bye bye for now